YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Crypto J coming at you guys with yet another J Talks Crypto. If you're brand new to my channel, hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. I do my best each and every day to give you guys the topics in cryptocurrency. And guys, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. We're going to dive right into some charts today because as you guys can see, Bitcoin is dumping just like we talked about. It did have a fake out earlier today. Did this fake you guys out? Let me know in the comments below. It's definitely something that I was watching. I was thinking that maybe, you know, we're going to head back up into this oversold zone, but it does look like Bitcoin is correcting and a lot of people are changing their views on the market as you guys can see market is an absolute bloodbath right now all across the board and every single pair it really doesn't matter also solana was seeing some positive price action earlier this morning was watching that and uh it is still up six percent today but uh in my opinion that's just because people are still buying these meme coins they're still uh interested in the solana blockchain and they're bullish on solana for the long haul as far as like the meme coins and the value of them and in my opinion, I am bullish on the Solana blockchain. I like it a lot. I've been watching a lot of these coins on Solana. And I do think that uh, with this Bitcoin correction, I'm going to be probably looking for some better trades in Solana pairs uh, versus Ethereum pairs because they just seem to be outperforming on that last pump. And I'm expecting uh, Solana to recover with Bitcoin. And I do expect um, with Solana price pump that a lot of coins on Solana will do just like this, like some of these other coins on Solana with 64000 gain percent gains had uh somebody actually messaged me that had made seven figures off of this coin um they were within the first 500 wallets and as you guys can see sitting at 543 million market cap right now is book of meme this coin was just listed on kucoin and that's the beautiful thing about being on deck schools guys you can catch some of these coins before they're listed on major exchanges we got into ship before it was listed on coinbase we got into uh SHIB before it was listed on uh, crypto.com. We got on SHIB before it was listed in Binance. And when you're able to position yourself in a meme coin like that before it's listed on a major exchange, um, you can see these types of gains, these, you know, 400, 500% gains. And Book of Meme coming in at the number one hot pairs. We just refresh the page right now. Just isn't that so crazy? Like one second ago, all these hot pairs were Ethereum. And then we just refresh the page. And as soon as Solana starts looking a little bit good again, as soon as Solana starts looking decent this thing is uh again these coins are the top trending pairs again so that's what i'm really looking at also want to look at some of these coins that we've been following on the multi chart because that's just an absolute bloodbath kind of disappointed in a few projects but i'm still watching a few of these so you guys could see flocky coin down 10 percent today their market cap still sitting at 1.3 billion dollars also ship taking a nasty little spool today falling into this twos range and that's something that we talked about as well the fact that ship could retest this uh twos range and if it does that i'm a buyer so again i'm not afraid of this price action that i'm seeing with ship and coins like flocky i do think that that uh these do have the ability to rally back with bitcoin because again if you guys look uh at the grand macro scale for a lot of these coins um the, it's it the sell-off doesn't look as drastic as you think and the recovery um, you could definitely see the recovery, especially in projects like SHIB, especially in things like Solana. That's why I always look at the all time, right? I, how long are we going to be able to buy uh, Solana coins at this price, guys? That's what I'm paying attention to. I'm like, you know, all right, as soon as Bitcoin makes its drop down, I'm buying some more Solana. That way I could ride this wave and I could, you know, still be buying meme coins because you're going to need Solana to buy those meme coins. And uh, in my opinion, that is why we're seeing what we're seeing because people are buying solana meme coin so um some more coins that we were talking about let's let's open back up that multi chart right let's just finish going through the list of coins that we were kind of watching bobo is another coin that i was watching right it's really dependent on pepe but pepe seeing some major sell-off today so i'm really not surprised that bobo is really following behind pepe and dumping as well also uh port coin was looking pretty good yesterday like this thing was trying yesterday um to hopefully have some kind of a breakout and it ended up um, still stuck in la la land but as you can see this could be some kind of falling wedge or something like that if if uh bitcoin decides it wants to take off if pepe decides it wants to take off again maybe this is a double bottom maybe this is that wedge forming on the smaller chart right mm, we'll see i don't know but again as you guys can see pepe down 11 percent today in market cap and this is a big hit in market cap guys because uh this thing was sitting at like 5 billion market cap and now it's sitting at 3.64 with this bitcoin correction so a lot of fear in the market as you guys can see to trump coin falling all the way down to five dollars and 83 cents interesting do you guys think that these presidential coins are going to have a future or do you think that 
um, they're already kind of done for. I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. We do see a lot of uh, other forks of these little presidential meme coins popping up. And uh, we always want to be on the small micro cap projects, but can a project like Trump coin really have the ability to hit a billion? Let me know in the comments below. I, I certainly thought with it being an election year that uh, this coin would be one worth uh, possibly having in your in your uh, portfolio but again with all these other coins that are now blowing up like this one buffett coin and i seen like an obama one and all this stuff term coin right we talked about term coin but as you guys can see term coin is not doing too hot it's not doing too bad i mean 38 billion market 38 million market cap um with 20,000 holders it ain't horrible it's not it's not doing horrible um i like to look at this line chart also as you guys can see look testing some lower resistance but the entire market guys is going to be sitting on or some lower support but the entire market i feel like is going to be sitting on lower support pretty much any coin that you're at you probably drop down a level in support and you're probably sitting there some coins even worse than that right there's some coins that absolutely have tanked as you guys can see some of these coins have absolutely tanked including Bowden, this coin down 26 percent today paying is another coin down 18 percent um the with uh coin is also down 10 percent so um maybe good accumulation zone guys a lot of these projects have a lot of holders and you know when bitcoin does decide that it wants to rip up again and uh create some new all-time highs these are the coins that i'm going to be paying attention to and that's why i ha again have them added to my multi chart because I know that the following is big. I know that the they have been known to be hot pairs on Dex tools. I know a lot of people with a lot of money use Dex tools, and I know that everybody's looking for these trends just like your boy Crypto J. So, uh, but people want to know like how far can Bitcoin go down? Because in my opinion, guys, Bitcoin has a lot of correcting to do. It does have a lot of correcting to do, guys. We're up still 32% this month. We talked about the fact that this rising wedge was forming. We called it when, when it was creating, right? We Really, I was saying at 71 that this is bananas, and uh, it's just, it's not looking good. That it, This thing was overbought. It ended up dropping all the way down to 68 and then shot all the way up to 74, shocking everybody, creating new all-time highs, and then ends up pulling all the way back, creating this bear flag. And I called, I called this bear flag breaking out, and when it started going back up, uh, I had people messaging me and they're like, oh, that's not a bear flag. That's just a retest. And I'm like, uh, I don't know, man. That looks like a bear flag because uh, everything's pointing to the fact that we're overbought. And uh, this pattern is already breaking down off of this uptrend. This is definitely um, you have a better chance shorting this than you do longing it. And um, again, that's why that's why I said this is not looking too good and that's looking bearish is because honestly, guys, it was looking at a point where I would be in short in the market, even though I wasn't short in the market. I did stable coin up and I am waiting on a dip. Um, the volatility is just crazy right now, but I do think that we could retest some lower lows. Maybe I might be short on the market. Um, but again, as you guys could see, these shorts are getting liquidated quick too, right? Because they don't want you to make money with them on the way down either, guys. They're going to do this to you right here. They're going to liquidate you. They're going to have you uh, buying this right here and then dropping it down. That's just the way that the whales play, guys. Just understand that. We're just the fish and they are the whales. We're just trying to make some money. We're just trying to touch some of that sweet money that uh, they, they're they getting they're giving to us in these trades. But again, if your coin pumps astronomically and you don't take profit that's your own fault so um let's look at some of these other coins uh popcat it's all eh, i don't know let's see let's see what has some volume right now right not the bad kind okay this oba o obama coin my brother was telling me about this obama and it's up kind of crazy but i don't know i don't know if this is going to have more upside because again it is correcting um and it's hard to say with these coins, man. It, it looks like it could possibly. I mean, let's check the contract on it, huh? Let's see if this is any good. Uh, only one audit. Scammers undetected. That was the red flag for me. When the scammers is undetected, I don't really like that, man. But still, 4 million market cap. Um, some people look like they're able to sell, but I would be definitely paying attention to these wallets that are selling. Making sure that they're not actually just one wallet that's able to sell. And um, that it's actually a fair trade, right? We want this to be a fair trade. And not a trade that we don't even have a chance to make money in, right? We we always have a chance to lose money. Like every time you get into crypto, you have a chance to lose money. But we we at least want to make sure that we have a chance to win money by making sure that the coin that we're in is not a total scam, guys. And that's what we help you guys learn on this channel. This is another coin that I was watching with my brother just this morning. I was hoping that this thing would have some more upside. That this thing would make a resurgence. And I don't know. 
I really don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen with Beluga, dude. This thing is crazy. It is, it's at 7.3 million market cap. It is trying to um, retest some of this uh, resistance up here. Can it see some upside? Again, don't know. Um, but one that was on my radar and one that is again in the top trending and people are looking at this and honestly guys when when coins are grabbing a lot of attention and when things are looking bullish in a time where everything else is looking bare that could be a really good sign because it everybody's looking for where they can make gains at they're looking for hot trends they're looking for where people are putting their money on the dip and if you can catch one of these coins that is able to see some positive momentum on this dip like again this uh book of memes coin this is actually a coin that also somebody commented on the video yesterday and they were like hey you should check out book of meme and when you guys tell me that i i do check out these coins you see i'm going on i'm checking out these coins but i'm also going to give you guys an honest opinion on what i think right i'm not uh, getting paid by any of these coins and uh, I'm going to tell you if it's a scam even if I, I don't I don't accept money in general for uh, promotion so if you guys are even gonna think about messaging me about doing a promotion or something like that just save yourself the time I don't do that but I do cover all these coins and I just cover really what's trending I don't uh, I don't like to take promotions just because I don't know I feel like the space is too sketchy so uh, I also don't like pre-launches either. Uh, my brother asked me about a pre-launch on a coin, and I told him the psychology behind a pre-launch, at least from my experience. Let me know if this is your experience. I know a lot of you guys like pre-launches or have been in pre-launches, and some of you have learned from being in pre-launches that generally when a coin launches or a coin does a pre-launch, everybody buys in. The price starts out high on the coin, and then everybody just starts selling as soon as the coin launches. The price sees a huge dramatic drop-off, and then you're lucky if you see that volume come back. Um, because again, if people were just buying for the pre-launch and they were just buying it so that they could sell it right away. And a lot of people think, oh, I'm in on the pre-launch. It's going to go from 8 million to 500 million overnight and I'm going to be rich. And that's generally not really what happens. It's usually going to go from 8 million down to like 2 million. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, if you weren't one of the ones that was able to quit to sell fast enough, then you might be stuck with the bags and in a dead meme coin. That's why I always say, uh, you know, if it's going to be a pre-launch, I like to wait for the coin to launch and then have it sell off. And then I like to look for a good entry point. That way, if it is able to pick up in volume, if it is able to jump into these trending hot pairs, then I will be able to uh, benefit off of that, off of this extra search traffic that these coins are all getting right now. Um, but again, these are coins that I'm watching. I'm watching Solana-based coins. I'm buying the dip on Solana right now. Uh, I do expect Bitcoin to probably drop down lower. Again, I would hope so. Um, I know that's for some of you guys you're you're hoping the same thing because you know that this rally is definitely not over we're entering zones of accumulation again in my opinion we were at some sketchy levels but uh, a lot of people even saying that Bitcoin can see some some serious sell-off see some big drop I've, I've heard a lot of uh, estimates and uh, predictions and stuff like that but again guys nobody can time the bottom nobody can time the top maybe we bounce off of some of this lower resistance down here in this 60 range or maybe we even t retest some of this 50 K range right uh, in my opinion that wouldn't be a bad thing because Bitcoin's been on an absolute tear this month at its all-time high I think it was at like up 55% this month guys and if you were not taking profit during that time then I'm sorry you were greedy but we were talking about the fact that we've been overbought and our greed index slowly slipping back down right we were all the way at a 93 and now we're sitting at 89 market is still greedy people are still watching the market but our market cap is down like um, 300 billion dollars today so a lot of people are also taking profit a lot of people um, stable coining up right now that's one thing that I told my brother uh, the other day because we talk all the time we talk about these markets all the time and I was telling him you know it's not a bad time to stable coin up and he's like how much would you probably want to stable coin up and I told him yesterday I was like he was like you know should I do 50 50 and I was like bro like 80 20 stable up 80 percent 80 percent and 20 percent leave in the market if you feel like it's going to go bullish but again more things are pointing down than pointing up so um it's a very risky bet um to be betting that uh this is any level of support this can this is a bear trend this is a bear a clear bear trend but again this was a fake out right here we talked about the fact also that price action happens on a thursday guys and what day did the sell-off happen happened on a thursday we talked about the fact that mondays are usually fake outs and when did the fake out occur guys happened on monday it was a fake out on monday and then we seen uh the price action on thursday and then again we seen another fake out today on friday but 
in my opinion guys i don't know i feel like bitcoin still has some cooling off to do it's just too parabolic right now what do you guys think let me know in the comments below do you guys think that bitcoin is going to have more upside do you think that this thing's going to rip all the way up to 80 to 100k and then have a pullback a, a serious pullback of like 30 to 40 percent or do you think that our correction is now guys do you think that uh the, the uptrend has broken that we're going to start bleeding into the next month that we're going to have a red month next month we're not going to have a green month like we had this month we'll have a red month next month with the happening and then um closer towards like april may that we'll see uh some more positive price action with bitcoin and we'll start to see that bottoming out that we're looking for in my opinion i think that's what more than likely would fit the narrative but again guys that's just my opinion on the narrative like that's all that that is um technical analysis is telling us again that the trend has broken to the down position and that um we can expect to see more sell-off but again these things can can be fake outs as well right how many times has bitcoin done this where it's dropped down here and then shot all the way back up can that also be what's happening i mean anything could really be happening right now this could also be a double bottom right and this thing could really go rocketing up but um the market generally um a lot of people are are starting to flip from their bullish uh to their bearish uh predictions in here so um that's something that you're going to see. You're going to see a lot of people switching sides and stuff like that, probably. But again, guys, we just go off of indicators on this channel. Like, I don't I don't make up these charts. I just read them, and I just tell you what I'm seeing, and I just give you my point of view. So if you guys appreciate that, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that bell notification. We're going to keep talking about these small micro cap coins. So if you want to make gains like this, these thousands of percent gains guys there's no other channel to follow on youtube i promise you anybody else is just going to waste your time and uh this meme coin season ain't gonna last forever so you want to be tapped into a real one like me and i'll catch you in the next video peace